That right there. That. Nice controller, dude. Nice. Sweet. Oh, well, good thing I started early, huh? There goes the controller. I am cheating, actually. Oh, yeah, it's broken, dude. Oh. This is this is what Eddie looks like when he's wall jumping with a hitbox right here. <laughs> okay, that's actually insane. Holy shit. God, I'm the I'm the wall jumping god. I've in all ten years of speedrunning Super Metroid, I've never had the R button or any D pad button stick and break on me. All right. And it's back to normal. I'm kind of afraid. If this happens during a run, I'm fucked. Like, I don't know. I'm kind of afraid to use this controller now, but it's the only good controller I have. Oh, there it goes again. Okay, I'm just trying a different controller. I'm going to see if it happens again. If it does, something's wrong with this SNES, and I literally cannot play Nintendo, Super Nintendo, until I fix it. Because my other my other uh, SNES had a controller port issue as well. I might have to cut the stream. I have everything to mod consoles downstairs. Maybe I could try to fix it up real quick. I don't know. I guess it's the controller? You know what could have happened? Maybe something just got stuck in that controller. You know what happened probably? The D-pad probably broke. The D-pad, it probably ripped. Like really bad. Hold on. Yeah, guys, this is me just blaming the controller. Yeah, yeah guys. Hold on. I'm on uh, original. I did, yes. It doesn't matter if you don't. You can not unplug the controller. Actually, no, it's still plugged in. Uh, uh, uh. No, we're good. Can we get the cam bigger? Yeah, probably. What's the dealio here? The right input is sticking. Why? I I do not see anything wrong. Sometimes sometimes these will break. The actual membrane. But I don't see an issue, so I don't know.
Yeah, I literally have a hundred controllers. I just have to take them apart and clean them. But this is all the D-pads. This is just from like 40 D-pads. Most of these suck. Um, the thing is too, I don't even think it's a D-pad issue. Because nothing's sticking. So it would be the inside one here. It doesn't stick. It pops. I was thinking maybe it like stuck. I'm sure SM7B. I'm going to try a different board, I guess. Although I remember I tried this board at one point and didn't work. Chilling. So this isn't a me being picky situation. This is a um, the controller literally broke situation. So I need to change. I need to fix a new one and just go. So. Yeah, this is like the best little toolkit I've ever had. It's great. It's got everything. Um, D-pad replacement from this. I have I bought a lot of 100 controllers a while back and I'm still in the process of taking them all out, but and fixing them and cleaning them. It's this is like the greatest toolkit ever for small electronic parts. It has every bit that you need. I mean, electric driver would be nice too, taking apart everything. But if you don't want an electric driver, this is great. And it has a little swivel. So, you know, you can. So it makes it really easy. Yeah, no, I mean, it makes sense. Did I put the D-pad back? No. I've put whole controllers together without the D-pad in there. And then I go to play it and I'm like, oh shit, this is annoying. No, I mean, not really a hobby, but um, it's almost a necessity because I just do this all the time. So uh, this is a little thing here. I mean, I'm not sponsored by the toolkit, so I don't know to where. So this is whenever you hear people talk about paper mods, let me show you what they do and what they mean by that. So this can wiggle. So what we do is that space in between that gap. No, it doesn't make anything click. You put it in between. So it tightens up that gap. And there's no, there's no wiggle room.
Yes. I do. So now... No. Yeah, so this is just cheating, is what I'm doing. I'm cheating, and I should be banned from the leaderboards. <laughs> yeah. To call, thank you so much. I mean, that joke doesn't even land since I'm literally on all the leaderboards, but yeah. Um... Well, I'm doing this because I have no choice. The one controller that I had that was good. Um, like broke on me in a way I've never seen, so. Well, I plugged in a different controller, Ryan, and it didn't happen. So, if it was the SNES, I would cut stream and I have some tools. Because I only have this SNES. It is. Maybe you should get some reserve controllers. You mean like all these? And every other bin with other parts? Yeah. It's not easy making controllers that are good for this game. I had a reserve SNES, the one I'm playing on currently. Yes, what if all 110 controllers that I have break simultaneously in some sort of Thanos snap situation? Well, then, dude, I guess I'm fucked. You know what I mean? Damn, dude, you got a point. So smart. kind of taking a huge risk right now and I'm assuming that the controller that I just put together is good which is a big risk because nine times out of ten they're not good and you have to take it apart again that's why these are so terrible to put together and shit well L and R work R is a little bit weird but good so far play with it for a minute and make sure that's not like an actual SNES issue stroll with it that was really weird I, I I cannot believe that that actually happened because there was no issue inside of the controller very odd so what happened was my right button stick so I was pressing left and right at the same time so my right input, I could wall jump like TAS, like literally TAS on console, which was kind of neat. But 